Today, we're we doing something a lot different, a lot crazier, power building, CrossFit style workout here at Super Fit Ohio. Let's do this. Andrew Eater. Is that how you pronounce your last name? Yeater. Yeater. Everyone does Eater, that's, I'm used to it by now. So I've followed you on Instagram for like two years now and I've never actually met you, so nice to meet you, Rob. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> so you just worked out, that's a pretty good lift. That's probably the best lift I've had in a while, as far as how I feel afterwards, because I'm like smoked right now. But um, I've noticed that like when I first started following you, I saw you and Connor, is it Cochia? Co Cochia, yeah. Cochia, lifting at, um, I thought, it was, I thought it was LA, but yeah, Lifetime Fitness. You guys seem like a couple of LA guys. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but yeah, and I thought you were all in the bodybuilding game, and then all of a sudden I'm seeing you doing like powerlifting and stuff, and I noticed that the numbers are going up, and I've always uh, been curious on power building, and so like I've tried getting into that for the last year and a half probably, but never been successful just because every time I look someone up on YouTube, it appears that they're like, you know, training with some enhanced substances yeah yep. yeah so yep. and I always think like man I don't know if it's something I could accomplish or something like a program that would work for someone who's working you know nine to five full time and also trying to just keep a natural lifestyle so uh, where did you hear about this program at so the program that we just ran today I got, found a guy on uh, Instagram Joey Zatner Zat strength so uh, and I've been following him. I found him through watching Alan Thrall. And then I found Alan Thrall through Omar Esau. So just a lot of YouTubing, just especially since I got into the powerlifting like scene kind of, because I was on the bodybuilding train for a while, did the push pull legs, the Arnold split, kind of a little bit of yeah. everything. Yeah. Yep. And then I just seen people lifting heavy. I'm like, you know, I'd like to deadlift multiple times a week, get that number up, bench press, increase that. So we found uh, Lane Norton's PH3, because that's kind of a nice little hybrid. You I've got, heard of Lane Norton. Yeah, yeah, so we got the power lifting, but then there's also two uh, upper body hypertrophy days and two lower body hypertrophy days. So it's a bodybuilding mix with power lifting. And, and we ran that for, I think it was 13 weeks. 13 weeks, yeah, and we got real good results. And then uh, we found another program that was 16 weeks through Calgary Barbell. We just got done with that three weeks ago, test our maxes. 
like that, but we also kind of want to do a little bit more like athleticism work, so conditioning, and that's where Joey Zetmer's program came in. So we found this and ran it because it's still got your power lifting, your strength movement, and then your accessory movements. So you're, you can still get your pump in for bodybuilding purposes, and then check your athleticism with the conditioning work. So that's, that's what we finished week two. So far, so good. I really, really enjoy it. Awesome. So as someone who's been training for a marathon and running half marathons and stuff, and uh, I started out as an athlete, I think my adventure, my first steps into fitness was like walking, actually, because I was a chubby kid. I used to play video games and just slam Game Mountain out. Dew and yep. Doritos. Okay. Yeah, that was, that was the exact opposite. I was a skinny kid. I couldn't, when I started lifting, I I don't think I could bench 95 pounds. Oh, wow. So. See, yeah, I was yep. the chunker who played like RuneScape and didn't get off the couch for like hours at a time. Okay. And my friend, uh, Seth, got me into like walking and then eventually running. So then I became the stick because I started doing like, tr well, when I started track, I wanted to do drawing and they're like, no, you're going to run the mile because you don't have enough kids. So then I got forced into that. So like, like my first steps were like athleticism, obviously like football, baseball, track. Mm -hmm. So I like the athletic, like the last four sets or rounds or whatever we just did, burpees, sprints, backpedaling, battle ropes, and mountain climbers, and that reminded me a lot like of uh, glory runs with beat drill and wrestling, yep. like you said. So that stuff was really fun for me, and I actually enjoy that a lot because for me, I'm someone who likes the, not just like going and looking good, like aesthetically, I mean, like that's great too, but I feel like it's more functional, well, I guess that's why they call it functional fitness, but I think it's, it's better to be in better shape and to be able to use your fitness for something functional as opposed to just looking good. Yep. So that's I why I really enjoyed the program. Now, where did you say Joey Zatmary? So did you find him on YouTube or on, on website? On, uh, well, I found him on YouTube first. Mm -hmm. He's a Zat Strength, but his last name is spelled uh, S Z A T and then M A R Y. But just Zat Strength on YouTube. Same thing on Instagram. That's where I found it. He gave out a free program when he hit 10,000 subscribers, and that's that's what we're running now. Oh, that's sick. So free program, man. Yep. I have so, to look it up because yep. honestly, I'm really intrigued. And then how just visiting this place and how much you said it was per month. Uh, my girlfriend and I are super curious about joining in, but yeah, I mean, that's awesome because like I said, like I've noticed your numbers going up and for me, yep. I my, when I go to the gym, my favorite lifts are deadlift, bench, squat, and I've yep. always been someone who's like, I get discouraged when I hit a plateau or if I'm not getting any higher, like I, I want to get stronger too, I don't want to just look good, all, but um, so like when I saw that, I was super intrigued, I definitely wanted to like... Um, Hit you up, but I was watching for a while. I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of creeping on That's you. Okay. No homo. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I, I was like really, really, uh, really surprised when you were like, "Oh yeah, it's really cool." Because I didn't know how you thought about this, nope. and I've never done an interview before. This is like my first one, so first birthday. Yeah. So I was thinking, like, dude, I should just ask him. Be like. What are you running? Because it, it seemed like power building, and that's kind of what I've been to. And yeah. it's definitely, it's definitely something that I could see myself doing without getting super exhausted, without like needing something extra. So yeah. it's definitely something where I've seen results in you and your friends, and I think like it's, you know, I definitely want to implement it into my training, and then maybe show people who are watching my channel are curious, not just about like nutrition and fitness, but like want to do it something more. Uh, athletic, athletic, and athletic, functional, yeah, stuff like that. yeah exactly. Totally, especially, agree. especially with this journey into running a marathon, because you know I can run eight miles, but then at the end of the day I'm like really tired, so I need some sort of cross training. But like going and getting an arm pump isn't going to help me, you know, run yep. twenty six point two miles. Yep. Unless it's going to help me look good doing it, but that's <laughs> about it. And believe me, I'm going to get an arm pump before I go run that. Absolutely, <laughs> it's all about looking good too. All right, so thank you so much no for uh, having me here and yep. lifting with me. That was really fun. fun. We should do it again sometime. Absolutely. Like, comment, subscribe, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, throw <laughs> that in there. All right, you guys take it easy. Team Natty out.